All right. Uh, I will call to order this meeting of the East Hampton Planning Board for Tuesday, February 4th, 2020. Uh, first of all, is there anyone who would like to speak to anything that is not on the agenda? Is that you, Chris, or are you waiting for later? I would just like to request that we maybe move stuff around on the agenda because I'm, I am uh, recused from the the photovoltaic stuff. Yep. So no we can do other that. items before and so on. I think we can do that. I, I want to just make a brief public speak. Um, okay. Chet is no longer on the planning board. Uh, served on this planning board probably longer than I've been alive, was already an experienced member here when Jim and I came on, That's what, right. eight, nine years ago yeah, now. Yeah, long time. Um, Harry probably knows exactly how long, maybe not, but I believe he was even back when it was an elected position. Um, well, he was possible. he was on a conservation first. Okay. And then he got, he left that and came on this. So we've sort of already moved on to transition stuff, but I wanted to not let it pass without saying something on the record that I think we all always appreciated his input and participation, and he will be sorely missed, at least Absolutely. Absolutely. on the board here. I know he helped me out a lot when I first got on the board. Yeah, I think he's been doing that for years. Uh, 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 when I first got on the board, I didn't know anything. I thought I'm a genius now, but... <laughs> <laughs> I didn't, better than he I didn't know anything back then, you know? All right, so That's great. Uh, moving along, no planning board minutes, no ANRs. So we're okay with moving the Park Street to the end. Does that work for everybody? It works for me. Okay. You can vote for it if you like. I don't think we need to vote for that. I understand. Um, all right, next up then is election of officers. I will once again volunteer to be chair unless someone really wants it. <laughs> and I feel the same about vice chair. I'm happy in my position. Perfect. I'm 100% okay with that. But I'm right. totally happy can that you're happy make, Let's do this one at a time. <laughs> can someone nominate me to be chair? Please? I nominate Jesse Belcher Tim to be the chair of the planning board. I'll second that. Right. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Vote for yourself. Standing, I'll vote for anybody, <laughs> including myself. All right, uh, I'll nominate Jim to be vice chair. Seconded. All in favor? Aye. 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 All right, that's all we have for officers, right, Jeff? Yep. Um, discussion regarding attendance. Jeff? Right. So, um, Harry has raised a question about um, oh taking a leave of absence, and it caused a couple questions about the procedure or process to, to do that. Um, I think on the on the board in the, on the table is um, an email. Oh yeah. Um, from Lindsay, with, who did, helped with some research, and this is an excerpt from the, the charter. And there's not a lot about guidance for boarding committee members, but there is a section on loss of office or excessive absence. So I think the, the main thing to go through here is, is that um, this, this says that if someone on the board is absent and there's there's like three thresholds um, uh, it's you know all Do you like all, me to read it? Uh, yeah. uh, all of the meetings held during four calendar months one half or more of the meetings in a calendar year um, or three consecutive meetings sorry I skipped them the the board the the, the remaining board members may vote or to have the person um, removed from the board. Mm -hmm. So I think and we did this. Right. Um, I forgot that we even exchanged these emails about this. But so we did this a few years ago. I'm blanking on her name. Uh, Amber. E yeah. Is that who it was? Keep and she was in before. school and we gave her, we agreed to that. I mean, I think that the wrinkle here, right, is that sort of at some level we all kind of serve at the mayor's pleasure. But I personally, especially if we have one or two people in the pipeline, which I think we do. Yep. I mean, if we, have, if we have a full board with, and we don't have quorum issues, I, I certainly would much rather like try to help Harry out rather than lose him. Harry, what kind of absence are we talking about? A couple of months. Oh, it's, it's even, you don't even need that. It's within the rules. I don't think it even qualifies. I, I mean, if it really is only a couple, well, I guess three consecutive Poss possibly meetings. Possibly three months. Three, okay. Possibly. No more than that. And you had to put a timeline on it. It would be... Way back in April. March. Oh. I mean, uh, see, we're, uh, very, very first part of May, probably. We so you're thinking return, March and so April? March and yeah. April, right. Yeah, I have to go down with Salt and my, uh, my father-in-law passed away. Right. Oh, I'm sorry to hear it. Very sorry to hear that. Oh, like a couple of weeks ago? So my wife wants to go down here and you know, help her sister out, take care of the estate, and maybe get rid of the house and clean it all, all that so, kind of stuff. So for us, it becomes what special permits that require four people. 
we have four right now, and you were just saying we have people in the in the pipeline. Do we have two people in the pipeline? Two. So the uh, we're going to have a new full member and a new associate member. Do we know who is that announced or what's going on? Yes. Yeah, so it's in the public records. So um, the full member is going to be um, Brenda Saylor. Yeah. Who was coincidentally. Um, a neighbor on this a neighbor project. on a solar project, and uh, and we've seen a couple of people I think in historically come through yeah. and, and become involved that way. Excellent. Um, and um, a gentleman named Austin Sanders, who's a resident in town and works in in some version of the planning field, so has experience with planning. Have they been uh, merrily confirmed? Yeah, the press. Yes, yeah, so merrily confirmed to the city council to the appointment subcommittee where they expect to be coming forward on the 5th tomorrow for the full city council vote so we might we should hopefully have them even for the next meeting that was the expectation is that by the 25th meeting they would be they'd be available and sitting with the planning board i i just want to and i know we're on topic here but i just want to throw this out it's a little bit of a segue i That's regret okay. doing this i know the cptc comes up in march does it not of oh, the training. The training. Yes. And so I've, I've already sent a note. We should to make both. sure that they get. One, uh, um, Brenda said she could go, and Austin said he had a conflict, so he couldn't make it. So but I did so already kind yeah. of broach that's that great. as one of the, that's one of the that's features. Yeah. Yeah. Who can? Yeah. Sorry. Is. So anyway, so I mean, I, my feeling on this one, Harry first mentioned it to me, is, you know, as long as we have a full board without him, like, I, I wouldn't want to do a disservice either to applicants that have to get a unanimous four out of four or right. where we have to continue things from meeting to meeting, and I know Harry wouldn't want that either. Yeah. But as long as we've got people in place, Good I personally, go. I want to keep Harry as long as we can. Totally agree. Absolutely. Okay. And the one, the one thing I will add, because I thought it, it came up actually kind of like at the tail end of this conversation was the board has a meeting coming up on February 25th where you have an item it's one of the cannabis uh, dispensaries so I did talk to Harry and it was today but that would be my one concern is that if that project continued into f March that that they would they would that would be a problem but so I think the good news is, and even but if everyone else is here, it's not a problem. Yeah, with the new people coming in. But they haven't participated in any, in any of the previous time. hearings. Right. And I think the Mullen rule is one meeting. So, like oh, the people. Oh, I see the people that we've already been the Liberty. Yes. yes. Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. So the good news is that um, in communicating with the applicant, they are on the Cannabis Control Commission's agenda for this Thursday for their provisional license. So the assumption would be that they'll get it. Um, get approved at the state level on Thursday, which would bring them to the board on the 25th mm -hmm. with that last step. So um, I, I talked to Harry, and if if for some reason they needed to go to the March 10th meeting, um, is that something that Harry said he could make that work? Yeah, I Do just put it off. I just put, I put it off going with Donna for a week. By Do we have a provision in our bylaws for participating by phone? No. Or video. No, I think all we have is. Do we have to have a local bylaw or is it governed by state? I can't remember. That okay. might be an option too. Okay. We could at least look at that. Okay. Really need idea. Because you, you've put I, in the time on it. I believe that's not going to be necessary, but I did play that one. That's the one application. You're right. That's that, the only pending one yeah, that could be a problem. Yeah, but we yeah. could ask East Hampton Media to assist with something like that. No, too. believe it or not, I was on a committee with with uh, a rural city planner, and I was on this uh, uh, parks and recreation and. Of open land or whatever it was, we actually had a guy from the Squamish Trust on our on the computer yeah. when, we, when we had that meeting, mm. and we're talking. <laughs> it seems so funny because all I can see is the guy's head. We know what the, what the <laughs> you know, what the mouth's going, and you know, we had the all the people who were there. It was it was really kind of strange. Well, it might be worth at least checking that, Jeff, yeah. if we can do that, because okay. at least it's another fallback. Yeah, yep. that's neat. Okay, excellent. Um, Update on the downtown strategic. I, oh, just sorry. Say, if, you, if you don't want to, I just realized this is for Park Street, and I'm not exempt from Park Street. That I, I don't have a copy of this one. So if you want to do that one first. Oh, the, yeah. The, is I'm it the, the other one? It's the other one on Northampton Street. You're right. Sorry. It is. I just read it. And I'm like, oh, I know this one. <laughs> I'm fine with this. Yeah. Thing. All right. Let's do that one because okay. I think the downtown strategic plan could potentially be a longer discussion. Yeah. We don't have to right. people sorry. around. Sorry. About that. All right. Okay. No problem. Um, all right. So this is review of the financial surety. The condition of the special permit. Welcome back. Hey everybody, how you doing? Hi. Long time no see. <laughs> we had a we had a good string going there. <laughs> uh, so I'm Mike Zimmer from Soltage. It's good to see you guys again. Um, 
here tonight, um, principally because we're essentially prepared to start constructing this solar array on Park Street. Um, same time since we kind of last met, um, most of what's happened is we final, finalized the design, uh, work with the utility, um, sign the lease with the landowner, um, enter into an agreement with the contractor to build it, um, and the last kind of pieces are for us to pull the building permit and start constructing the array. Uh, so that brings us specifically to the order of conditions in our site plan approval special permit. Um, I believe it's the condition number two, yep. specific to posting a surety for decommissioning. Yep. Um, in the amount of $112,000 to, to escalate 2% per year um, and to put together a form of decommissioning that certifies the city attorney um, and then come to your board uh, for final approval on that. So over, I guess, the last month or maybe more, uh, Jeff, um, your city attorney, and Soltage have been in discussion about the form of surety. Uh, I think Jeff raised one key uh, thing to bring up uh, related to the town's bylaw specific to solar, granting the city the right to access the facility and the property if my company fails to decommission it. Uh, that wasn't explicit um, in the forms of agreement that the city has with the landowner or we have with the landowner. Uh, so to accomplish that kind of first task, um, we worked with the city who drafted a access agreement, which I believe you have as an exhibit, uh, that I provided to Jeff today, and I gave him a hard copy that's been notarized by the landowner, the Carmetto Trust, signed by Matt Gall, the secretary of the trust. Uh, that effectively um, specifies our project on the facility um, and the rights of the city uh, under the zoning ordinance to enter the property and remove the facility if Saltage fails to do so. Um, curious, um, I didn't go into a lot of detail. Um, I can understand you didn't have a lot of time to review it. Uh, are there any comments or questions, questions on that yeah. form of agreement? I didn't want to jump no, no. Uh, you just stated that with this document to, to remedy the question that Jeff raised. Uh, that the city drafted a document. Yes. Uh, is that this? That's one? that, yeah. Okay. Yep. Yep. And my, I just wanted to, you know, I can see this hasn't been signed yet, so it's in the works. Uh, is it the intention that the landowner, it, 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 because my concern is that, if I'm understanding correctly, something terrible happens. Yep. Your company isn't there, it goes into decay, and we need to step in and use the surety to get in and then get access to remove stuff. Right. Yeah. This document, in addition to the other things it does now, has language in there that accomplishes that goal. I want to make sure it's the landowner that's signing in addition to your company in the city. Is that correct that they're in there? Because it's the, you won't be around. So this be is the only and between this site, this site's the project company, but the agreement is between the landowner and the city, not the project company. So okay. it's Crown Meadow, Cor Meadow Corporation that signed it, which okay. is the landowner. Yeah. All right. Uh, and effectively, oh, there it is. what Sorry. this allows the city to do is to pull on the surety that Siltage posts and remove <coughs> the facility. All right. Sorry, um, I just want to make sure. Um, anybody, anybody, uh, yeah. That, that's thing one. Um, the other, the other part of the discussion, and really the acceptance we're looking for, is the form of decommissioning that we've presented to the city attorney, um, Jeff. Uh, can confirm that he is satisfied with the form provided, which is a decommissioning performance bond. Um, I think that other than being somewhat generic, what the specific performance bonds, and I don't, do you guys have that as a copy too? No, that was my, my apologies, that's okay. but it's a very- I, And I brought a copy, I oh, brought you did. one okay. so Would you guys you, can- Will you pass it around just for <laughs> reference? Because um, I apologize, I did not. So- I mean, it's been signed off by the city attorney, right? Yes. Yeah. yeah. So the form wasn't really the issue. It was this access. Right. It's the access that's right. right. And the form does specifically cite the obligations under the special permit. So it's not totally it's not totally a form decommissioning bond. It does specifically cite the approvals that this board has given the project, um, our obligation under those approvals, and how to operate the facility for over 20 plus years, and our obligations to remove the facility. Within those obligations, obviously, is a re requirement to post decommissioning. Surety, um, that bond will essentially be renewed every year for life of the project with that 2% escalator. Um, and then we will remove the system, obviously, 
um, with our own <coughs> funds. The bond is for the city's protection in case we abandon the facility. The two percent that is the annual increase over the hundred and twelve thousand. When does that begin? Uh, so this year we post hundred twelve thousand. Next year we post hundred twelve thousand plus two percent, and so on and so on. What? When in, is it? December is that what I'm reading? Yeah, so I don't know that that for some reason the that that's not the sign form. Obviously, the our intent would be to um, have that have this kind of accepted in this meeting, okay. uh, and then we would actually pull the actual form of the bond with the surety provider. So um, is the date of the two percent increase based on the pulling of the surety? Yeah. Bond? So yeah. right. So it would be I'm sorry, um, January. What's tomorrow? February fifth. It would be reposted February fifth, twenty twenty one, with a two percent escalation on it. Because this this condition has to be satisfied before they get a building permit. Right, and right? so what and we so wanted they, to do is so like the clock starts when they get the bond. Yep. And then okay. the next year would start three hundred sixty five days later. Yep. Okay. Those are my two. And so then the only weird thing, like looking at the special permit, like we've dealt with this language on the commissioning stuff before, but like. I think our requirement says that it has to be in a form that satisfies the city attorney, which it already has, and then it gets submitted to us, but then it's signed by the mayor. So, like, we're not voting to, I mean, I guess we're just voting to approve it. It doesn't even require us to approve it, but it's submitted to us. So, I think we like accept and approve or something, and then the mayor, or maybe the mayor is authorized to sign, but I guess we can't force the mayor to sign it. Like, obviously, she's in the loop on all this, but. And I would say that it would, it's, it's practice for this uh, as it evolves I think I would say that in the next solar project we we kind of review this a little bit more carefully so like so in, in my opinion uh, you know the the solar company presented certain information during the hearings that when it when it actually came the time it it was at the the city didn't actually have access to the mm -hmm. property and I think that, that was what the gap that this agreement seeks to fill. So I think this is, this took a little bit of time. Um, but and, now we have it. I mean, now we have it yeah. to, to, to reach this agreement in this form. Um, so next time we have agreement. something like this, we can pull this document out and say, we're going to want to mirror something. And I think we could avoid this next time if right. it's clear at the in outset the of, of what's expected for yeah. city access. I mean, it, it's really explicit in the zoning. Mm -hmm. And I think I think we did this in one of our more recent decisions too, where we did condition access to the city, didn't we? Well, we did one for educational access. Yeah. And you know, I think we're I think we're going to face the same kind of scenario with the the other project at 50 Florence Road. Yeah. When, when and if that comes to this point, but I think from from that point on, I think we'll have to approach these a little bit differently to to ensure that this extra step doesn't have to happen. Yeah. Uh, but the city attorney drafted this and went to um, the applicant's attorney and, and it, it does the thing that we needed to do, which is yeah, the event 20 years from now that the city needs to go in there. It, it was determined that it might be beneficial to the landowner as well, um, that if, if ever if, if someone walks away from this, the landowner would probably want right. to see Absolutely. this value. And it. So it was just a sort of a shortcoming in the lease agreement, I think. Okay, so I guess I would say we need like a motion to accept and approve or something. I motion to accept and approve the financial surety for 232 Park Street, Soltage. And Second. how about this document too? Uh, including the large scale <laughs> solar voltaic decommissioning and removal access agreement. Seconded. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed, abstaining, excellent. Great, and then just, just because we're here and um, Item number three of the special permit, um, we, Mike, Mike and I were talking earlier and um, the company who's actually doing some of the um, work, you know, I, I do want to say that um, they are poised to begin. And so um, what is happening out there now is erosion control is being installed. Um, there's a construction trailer on the site. Um, and I think what, what, what we're hoping to get pursuant to condition number three uh, to, as, as early as tomorrow is this written five-day notice of, of the rest of the construction starting. I think if everything works out well on their end, they're going to have a pre-construction meeting with the Conservation Commission, and then things will start to happen. And um, so I can't I remember sorry. when we put that in, it was sort of to keep people in the loop, right, so that that knowledge is out there. But is the idea that planning department is going to look at that and make sure that it's sort of consistent with what we've talked about or are you going to be communicating with the butters that you've talked to and just giving them a heads up what's the process you anticipate for that again it, it's a little bit of a learning 
yeah. curve. I this goes to the planning department and building department, and I think what after looking at this, what I would value is having this so that if, if and I would probably pass it around town hall so that if people get calls or questions there's this document which will reference the special permit and kind of just say like this is this is notice that we're starting and I guess I think next you'll round, be able to look at the special permit and make sure that it's consistent with what we talked about we've right? been doing that right so, so that's, that, that's something else that yep. gives you more to check against yep okay and that's the you know the building department has the building permit application and the conservation commission has their set for review um, it I think next go around maybe we ask the applicant to notify a butters okay. uh, but I think for this purpose it's just having it yeah um, available for people and questions so that I've seen now a pattern where when stuff starts to happen people call right they call anybody anybody they can get anybody they can get on the phone yeah well, all right excellent I think it sounds great it's me. Um, <laughs> it's <Lindsay>. any, <laughs> anything else from here Yep. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna have a problem. Uh oh. Okay, when I'm on my little John, I'm gonna need somebody to go to CPA. Wait, hold on, no. Nope. Any problem with this oh. solar? Oh, no. The solar no. thing. All right. <laughs> Nothing to touch like that. <laughs> <laughs> no, not yet. Uh, this whole, just got a heart we already voted. All right. <laughs> Thank, I think that's our yeah, last one. I think one that's here. it, yeah. So, okay. yep. Thanks, guys. Good All luck. Right. Thank you. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you. I'm glad you're That's all right. Um, now. All right, so uh, next on the agenda is the Thanks, update yeah. on the downtown strategic plan. Yeah. All right, and then we're going to work on revising the date and getting this one. Yeah, so this right. is just a template. Yeah. It'll be the same thing except the, I don't know what these dates even mean, but it'll be with the date that's actually old. Okay. So yes. Yeah, we'll yes. Yeah, we'll yep. Oh, yeah, we can know the new date. So there we go. Yeah, we're going to do that. Um, in that case, we need to by the now. HJ to yeah. give us the I might be until it. April. Well, we can give you a copy no. too. Okay. Um, yeah. That's an issue. But okay. once I have a send it to you, so you have a copy, but that would go in the application. Yes. All right. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. You let me know if you need any help getting that. Could be worse. Sign X. Could be like Okay. Yeah. No, this is good. Thank you. See you guys. Thank you. Uh, okay, let's do downtown strategic plan first, Chris, and then we can right. throw your monkey wrench into things. Yeah, I'll throw that monkey wrench. All right, Jeff, <laughs> what do you got? Why don't you tweet this out? It's 140 yeah, characters or less. I really quickly read I'm, home, I'm actually home for dinner in five minutes, honey. I'm uh, trying to. Oh, you're doing this. I'm, oh, I'm trying okay. to get it onto the screen. <laughs> wow, we're, we're, this is with your phone. What is this crazy technology? <laughs> this high tech. Well, and it was working before, and let's see, is it going to work now? It was last like word. Secret serial number. Did you just give us yours? Password to your phone. <laughs> I kind have of so many good jokes that I'm not going to make because we're recording right now. <laughs> <laughs> um, we are in receipt of the. It's a draft version of the strate strategic plan. Um, it is fantastic, and so it's really as as we've kind of talked about things um, here occasionally, but it's really um, should form the foundation for definitely several years worth of work um, and and part of the key focus of this is to um, explore and set a process for the three elementary school buildings mm -hmm. so um, what what I'm trying to do is um, bring this to City Council tomorrow night uh, I'll do a more in-depth sort of quick overview of the components and parts um, but what we're trying to set off is like a two or three week public review period. Um, so this is the website that's been up all along for the project. Mm -hmm. if, if you haven't looked at it at all, at all along the way, I would definitely encourage it's um, pretty awesome. all it's of us website. to look at this. Yeah, the website's yeah. great. And then there are um, copies of meeting materials that um, fed the process and then there are um, videos and, and your own Chris oh, hey, that's me. Uh, <laughs> did a great introduction to the the last session so we're just trying to build a little bit more of momentum yeah. with the plan it's pretty common but it's it's a little staggering to realize that as much as you try to get the word out there are still tons of people who have no idea yeah. that anything's happening so it's a little bit of a struggle 
It's kind of a monumental to... vision too, though. Like it's kind of unique to have these three properties at once coming into the market, but also like to look at sort of. I mean, it's like almost like a master plan again. Yeah, right. Definitely. So I mean, it's, for the downtown. it's downtown, it's downtown, but it's yeah. but it's, but it's, it's like a discrete area. But it's it's a huge scope. Like it it can be overwhelming. Like yes. I think. What what is going to uh, happen over the next two three weeks that'll take it from draft to final? So this is yep. That's great. Thank you. So there is this opportunity. The the best way for comments to be provided are this online portal here. It's, it's SurveyMonkey, but it, it's it's a couple of very basic questions. Um, are there any potential school uses, school strategies, or actions that were missing or underrepresented? Um, and then, are there any elements of the downtown strategies or actions that were missed or underrepresented? And then, do you have any other comments or questions about it? I mean, we don't have the consultants forever, right. so it is a it's a fairly small window. Mm -hmm. But we're going to try to do what we've done, which is, you know, press release, using Facebook. Hopefully, the Gazette would pick up an article, and then the mayor's been good at doing sort of like a mayor's update video. And then what we, you know, there's action steps, and um, I won't fumble through this, but the action steps are actually they're not wild and crazy. They're actually pretty confined to um, looking at some strategies for parking um, where the planning board would, would be really involved is there is a need to um, extend the 40R district yeah. over one of the school properties so I think it's Pepin that when the original 40R got established in 2010 it didn't include Pepin but we want it to, because I think it's a really good potential incentive for, for housing development. Um, and then another sort of key element of this is shared parking. Um, the report does a pretty good job of identifying there are places where shared parking is happening informally, mm -hmm. but there are a lot of towns in Massachusetts and beyond that have figured out shared parking agreements, which could actually formalize that work. Um, so the the, the key areas that we're looking at are um, off of Union Street um, behind Rite Aid and then there's two church properties so especially the church properties the parking lots are underutilized I mean they have events so so those are important but in the off times there's potential opportunity there and we're looking pretty hard the the consultant identifies East Hampton Savings Bank a lot as a as a really important um, factor for anything that would happen in Old Town Hall. And so there is language in their draft shared parking agreements and there's things like that. Um, and then in terms of really big picture, you know, we're, we're trying to set a course over the next two years for um, there to be a school reuse committee and that committee will have to use the contents of this report to craft some uh, requests for proposals. <coughs> and that's, I mean, this, this report gives all the the foundational materials yeah. it doesn't tell us exactly this it doesn't tell us like this is what maple street's going to be mm -hmm. but it gives um, a range of options that were community supported and then it gives these criteria um, that the school reefs committee could potentially and ideally use to craft the rfp and then when they're getting responses they can evaluate, evaluate, them, evaluate them based yeah. on these mm -hmm. the, that's the so awesome this, so, i mean it's great yeah. i know you were heavily involved chris i don't know who else really was i keep forgetting all the names all but the like people. it's it, the people that have been working on this have been doing a ton of work and yeah. it shows it's a great result kudos to you yeah thanks well done and all of your team um it's a great team so i would just encourage you as the planning board to, <clears> it would be very important to find a some time to go through it and you know, you can use the online portal or we can work together on, on anything that you find that's glaringly off. I mean, there's a couple things, um, you know, people's names are spelled wrong here and there. Yeah. And we tried to do a once over to make sure that they got the basics right. Um, but anything that you would see would be helpful. And then I have to formulate a strategy to bring sort of a, a series of zoning amendments um, through the process that we want to yeah. try to do that before the RFPs goes, goes out. So we have the, the I'll, I'll end here but the one thing that the consultant said at the end was you actually don't have until after the schools are empty you want to be trying to have the RFP out before the schools are right. empty and there's a there's a technical process of the school committee releasing the schools and that has to be ironed out yeah. but within the next two years in theory 
you know, we will, as a community, be releasing requests for proposals for the redevelopment of the school. Great. So it's super exciting. I mean, wow. it's very it is. I think Jesse, it's a, it's a once in a lifetime. Yeah, I mean, it, I mean, most towns never have this opportunity. Right, right. And if they do, it's one. Yeah. And so right. I've been kind of going over this, and I feel like we're in a, a great spot that we don't have just one; we have three, so we can balance and the bookending. needs. And bookending. The center of town, like it, yeah. it, it, it's remarkable, and I think it, it could have been a wasted opportunity. I, I think the only way to waste it is not plan for it. Like I don't, I don't. I mean, I have feelings about preference myself personally, but like I think as long as everybody's involved and we're thinking about it in advance, like the result is going to be great. Yeah, and man, did we get a lot of involvement? In the town yeah, that showed up for these meetings. I showed up to one of those public meetings. There were hundred plus people. Yeah, that was, it was, it was really, really impressive. And people see. who had been at all three. Like they're just yeah, yeah. like and still great. were very active at all three. Yeah. Like it's participating great. in a big way. So all right, excellent. Crazy. Well yeah, so, Jeff, keep us updated and let us know what the planning board can do to help. I yeah, mean I think sure. a lot of it is outside of our scope, but whatever we can do to support it very right. well. That's great. Thank you. Wrench time. All right, wrench time. So okay. uh, first of all Harry's wrench. All right, I was gonna say do I have any feelings on uh Cernag Buick? That's not, that's not the wrench, but okay, well, let's talk about it. <laughs> I mean, they're going out of business. And? That's outside our... <laughs> well, but it's, I mean, we're going to have another, like, a, uh, we're going to have another, uh, what do they call it, uh, feed horse place. You know, that, that old meal place is sitting there vacant for... It took a while to fill, but the momentum has really changed in our community. I bet it doesn't take as long for that Something as it did for there? Peter. Maybe a pot shop. Well, they're already talking about on the other side of the street, right? <laughs> Yeah, there's I mean, that I, facility that they're planning on proposing there. That's certainly what's in the public Tasty realm is that the, the company for across the street held, held a community outreach meeting right. um, and, and basically said and explained a three-pronged kind of vision for a, a cannabis campus. So it would be it would be different than what this city has seen before right. where it's not just the dispensary and it's not just cultivation but what they're trying to add is research and development yeah. um, in I went to the community meeting because that's not literally how I'm learning about some yeah. of that yeah um, they are talking about a partnership with HCC yeah and whether or not wow. that actually happens um, we don't know but the the, awesome. the notion of that is really exciting because yeah. HCC is forming a, a whole cannabis curriculum and so, if there is that partnership, then that would that would make this unique. Um, where yeah, there, I think yeah. there's three or four colleges that are doing it now. I know right. AIC is rolling out a program. Uh, I think Springfield College. They're all doing these programs now. It's great. Love so it. The HCCCC. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, community college curriculum. <laughs> it will ultimately be something that ends up, you know, if if they continue to pursue the project, it will end up before the planning board. Yeah. Um, and the timeline seems variable, but which makes property right across the street potentially valuable exactly. to their effort, right. You know? exactly. Right. No, exactly. So well, I wanted to colleges. deal with your CPA issue. Yeah, I'm gonna be you know, gone for a couple of uh, months, or somebody's not going to go. Well, you probably don't have to go. They have nine members on there, or eight members, and we used to go have a lot of meetings with the very, very few people there. Is so this maybe the, uh, maybe we'll have to have somebody time. fill in. No, that's telecom. Okay. This is CPA, Community Preservation. We, I think we do need to talk about not just that, but I just realized too that I also have a trip coming up to the Alps in March, uh, which I think is this week of the 16th nice. through. I'm not sure if we fall on that, but I am gone from like the 16th to whatever, the 22nd or whatever. Okay. The two known dates for the planning board are March 4th and March 18th. I'm definitely going the 18th. What about March? Okay. Oh, no, no, I'm off by a day, but sorry. It's March. Sorry. I thought you said March, March 10th. Yeah. March 10th and March 24th. I'm back on the 24th. Okay. Great. Sorry about that. <laughs> yes. um, well, so CPA, I mean, if you're going to, those are monthly meetings? Yeah. So if you're going to miss two meetings at worst, it would be two or three. I think that's, I think it's better than. I think what we would have to do is actually name a new CPA rep. I mean, no one's going to get up to speed to be productive for two meetings. I don't think. Is this technically a a planning board liaison? Yeah, it is. Okay. But it's it's like we do for PPPC where we we voted on Harry. They have they have a many a, years ago. What, what, what's CPA the date? Rep. What's the date of it? It's the third Thursday of the month. I'll do the tour. Well, the one in March, you may be away. <laughs> well, that's right. <laughs> now that I know your vacation's <laughs> good. That's the third day. You're right. 
jump in for a meeting. I, what's the, I don't you even know. What, I have no clue other, what the agenda is or what I need to do, but I can sit there and. No, that's what I mean. But that's what I'm saying. I'll tell you what. It may not come this month. This coming month, like not in February, but so, uh, say March, uh, I guess sooner or later, I got to be voting on like a six million dollar bond for that thing. So that's going to be a kind, How, of a kind of a geez. big deal. How close is this to like quorum issues? Like, can they still no, they, operate they, if they, you're not there? We've been dealing with that forever on right our crazy committee. Just leave me uh, your one of your hats and glasses. On. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we can work this out before the next meeting. Oh, you're technically the member, right? Yeah, so that's ours. I mean, I don't think we can just send us up. I think we have yeah, to. Good, we would well, have to they got a, they have a sub from the historic yeah. commission. The historic uh, commission would, actually has a sub. Why so don't you I, ask their permission for a sub? What? See if they'll accept it. If what? Oh no, we get to name our member. Like the the CPA has a seat that is designated as a planning board representative, and we voted Harry into that role probably mm -hmm. in the mid '80s. And <laughs> so, like, I think we could vote on. Chris attending the meeting instead of Harry on a yeah. certain meeting, or we could certainly vote to replace Harry with Chris and then go back the other way when he comes back. But I think we should probably Better. vote Better. at some point. But we have another meeting that we can do that oh, at okay. the 25th. Yeah. And when is the next CPA meeting? Is it before that? Before the 25th, so I'll find out what's so going on. So you can on. find out from them what they think. What the, yeah. What because the other alternative would be to use the same charter language and and ask if the CPA would review this and just allow you to not be present. I'd rather, rather not go through that with them people, you know? I don't, it, it's, it's <laughs> not that, it, he wouldn't even qualify under this. Even, I mean, the worst, I mean, I guess if he missed three, which is possible, it would be that first one, but I don't think. I've seen people miss almost a whole year in that crazy thing. They yeah. finally threw the guy off the board. No one's gonna toss him. <laughs> so what more importantly is Chris mumbled a minute ago that he's not going to uh, be here on the 25th. Right, so I'm actually not going to be here. So that is a problem so for Liberty. A pretty big wrench for Liberty. March 25th yes. or February. 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 Our next meeting. I'm, right. It's tentative. I'm Tomorrow, I'm my, my boss and I are getting together and determine who's going to travel to Calgary. Don't you think you should go on the 26th? Meeting. The meeting is on the 26th in Calgary, yeah, so i got to fly yeah, up there. There's no way. Before What's more important? <laughs> that means um, that... It's where, 9 a.m. Because of the 26, rule that you're talking about there. where they have to be uh, present for more than one meeting or whatever that is. They can only miss one, only miss only one meeting. That means we have to push the, the event, right? Because we don't have four people. Well, if they're going to, if there's going to be a vote, I, I can always come back and watch the video of that meeting. If, but it's voting. But if it's a point. vote that's on a good point. At the next meeting, you won't have a quorum. Well, we can't, we can't push it out to the 3rd of March. We could do that if. I mean, the thing is, like, we'll, let's wait until we hear from Chris. If we yeah. have to, they're going to have to come on the 25th anyway because it's on our agenda. I mean, we've already pushed it to then, and we'll have to continue it from then. Right, and I'll know. But if we don't have a quorum, would we be here on March 3rd? Yeah. Yeah. I thought you said it was March 10th. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's March the, 10th would be the next regularly scheduled. Well, so it be a March 3rd and a March 10th. Oh, we okay. could do a March 3rd, like, special meeting for that. I have no problem with that. I have no problem with that either. I would do that, too. I mean, the alternative is pushing it until Harry gets cats. back in May or something. <laughs> that's not, sure they don't want that. that's that. not good. Right. We don't want to, I mean, okay. we have some personnel Sorry. issues I, here it, from... This no, might not be a problem. I, once let's I wait till we hear from, until Chris has an idea in the next couple days. Just, and if we need to, we can then tell Liberty, we're going to have to bump you to the third for a final vote. Yeah, but don't we have to have a... twofold. Don't yeah. we have to have a vote to, as to when that's going to be, or can you just schedule whenever you want? If They're well, going to have to come on the 25th, and we would continue it. Give me one person, just... Or whatever we would yeah come in together on the 25th and then move it to another date yeah. right okay. but we have to keep it public okay. that process public so we okay. can't move it now anyway I can if, do that. so I just want to articulate this so that cannabis control commission meeting that Liberty is on the agenda for is Thursday morning at 10 so by say 1 o'clock they will know whether they've achieved that provisional or not. Okay. And if they did not for some reason, then this oh, they might have to push it anyway. Okay. But if, uh, if they do, then they're going to be really gun ho. They will go on the third if that's if that's what okay. we have. Well, to I mean, the other thing we could do is we could try to get the four of us to schedule another day, like the twenty fourth. I mean, the, the idea that that the five of us have a free night that we could do this is probably pretty hard, but. We could try that process and do it a different night, but right. well, what about? So my understanding is uh, having a meeting before the continued. Date oh yeah, we can't do that. Right, you're so right. It would have to be after the 25th. 
Uh, but before the third, that's probably not even worth our time. It's quick okay. puzzle you got, Jeff. Good luck. Well, let's hope that Chris's deal falls through. <laughs> this is like, this is like the ten-piece puzzle. This is yeah. the other ones are like, you know, the thousand-piece puzzle. Right? Yeah. Okay. All right. Excellent. Well, now we have more information, and uh, okay. we'll figure that out when Chris knows for sure. Um, yeah. Real quick, if I can address the board, yeah. French for me, not you guys, but this is potentially my last meeting uh, until August. Get out. Oh. <laughs> Everybody's what? going on vacation. We didn't approve that, Lindsay. Well, so Denied. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not on the board. <laughs> yeah, um, but we have hired a replacement oh. to cover me. All right. Time. That's so wow. okay. if she can do the next meeting on her own, if Jeff and her feel comfortable with that, then I'll be sending her. If not, then I'll help onboard her okay. to do minutes. But And then I'll be back in August. All right. We'll miss you. But yes, we definitely But we'll still be here when you get back. And <laughs> as a backup, I, I honestly didn't have a problem taking minutes. I did that for the Conservation Commission. Okay. And I would just like take the minutes as we were at the meeting, and it was on the like, laptop. I just bring my laptop, and we'll just... Careful what you offer. Yeah, no, I actually would... I mean, in extremis... Yeah, in but, extreme situation. I'm not but, saying that's how I would do that all the time, because that was terrible. In, in which, of course, is the reason we went to this model originally, because you know we used to do that back in the day. But having someone who we need to pay attention... Yep. You know, be also be minutes. Really it's hard. It's, it's not. Yeah. It's no, not I know. I wasn't going to do that. Conservation. And I don't mean to question you. I just no. It's, no, it's good. Thank you. Yeah. You're going to be distracted anyway. But I'll do it for it. Oh, he didn't hear that. The, the goal just Chris, you're too easily distracted. I really, really. Whatever Jeff wants you to type. All right, we can add. We're not done counting ceiling towers. Holy, yeah. We're not done yet. Now wait. We have a telecom communications meeting too. Oh, so we need a replacement for that too. In case somebody wants to uh, take that up, is that a planning board? To be assigned. Yeah, really? that's also yeah, a planning yeah, board role. Awesome. <laughs> Harry's only been on that for a couple of years. Well, that's an important that's one. That is an important is. one. Well, how often do they meet? And when? It's on the first Monday of the month. Okay. I mean, I... which one do you want to do? Do you want to do CPA or? <laughs> I can do telecom. both. So no, the, no, no. You seem to meet us the last Monday of the month. That 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 list of stuff which I showed. Because I don't, have, I don't have a preference on either one. I'll do one or the other. I'll take CPA. It sounds less fun. I give you the good stuff. Sweet. I'm all over. Tele 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 one, you can't make one of those specific six meetings. Six o'clock. Mondays are really good for me. So right. Six o'clock on Monday. Downstairs on uh, room A. Or the, was it the uh, And we'll we'll let, we'll formally vote on this. At the 25th. At the next meeting. So I don't have to write the dates down yet. No, because you're, you're good the till the, at least told, through the end of the February, right? To to. Okay. Yeah, so I'm good till the first week of March. Mondays are always right. And if you're not here, then you'll come back and find out that you're permanently placed on all these games. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh, God, we'll no. But feel free to have fun in Calgary. Thank you. Hope you have a nice pool outdoors. Uh, anything else, Harry? Uh, uh, no. I motion to adjourn. Seconded. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Well Thank done, you. team. <laughs> a quick oh, good production.